what's up guys i'm back to you with another video um i've been having a lot of barber students uh time chime in with me and uh tell me how they appreciate as far as the way that i'm doing my videos so i wanted to take a quick second to kind of do something for you guys specifically i know that going into barber school whether what age you are regardless if you you've been out of school or you you're going straight out of high school like i did it's a big transition because it's kind of now it, it's it's so far from what you expect so jumping straight into it i uh graduated in 2013 that was from uh warren g harding and warren ohio uh go raiders i um i went straight to barber school right after that um and it was it was a big shocker i liked the environment initially when i went in and i had my walkthrough i knew that it was something for me but once i actually got through the motions of it it, it becomes a very um a very trying process especially being young and then you have to complete 1800 hours that's how it is for me here in ohio uh you got to have 1800 hours in order to qualify for a barber's license so like i said it was a big transition coming from high school going into an environment that i was expecting to be this easy going type of environment but really it was like high school on steroids because it was such a confined space. You had a lot of different people um, that were a lot of different ages. You had a lot of different personalities. And I know specifically, um, it kind of gets, it, it's a strain on you mentally because you're trying to figure out how to find your way through. And it's not really, it's, it's not a whole lot of opportunities to like kind of, you know, talk to different people as far as how to deal with it, unless you just meet somebody who who's happens to be in the same mindset. But um, backing up a little bit, um, I graduated in 2013, like I said, and I literally started school a month after graduation. So I get into the school. Uh, we had to do 125 hours. And so during that time, um, it's like you're a student enrollment kind of. So you're just filling everything out. You get the politic with the teachers. You see some of the other students that, that that's there. Um, the greatest advice that I can give you as far as getting through barber school is make sure that you just stay focused on what to do with your time and just be super efficient with your time. Ask as, as, ask as many questions. A lot of students will say, well, um, the teachers aren't really teaching us anything. Um, but but really, it's college. You, you got to understand that continue education. Even in, even in high school, it's really the teachers are just giving you the material and it's your, your, your job to study it. So the biggest thing I can say is just stay focused on your plan. And you have to have a plan. A plan is number one. It's, it's not wise to go in a situation that you're paying for and, you know, specifically with your money or your parents' money regardless. Because I know if you go to school later on in life, it's your money. If you go to school later earlier in life, nine times out of ten, it's your parents' money or, you know, whoever is helping hoping to assist you with that so you don't want to waste anybody's money especially your own so um having a plan first and foremost is very important and also ask questions don't be afraid to ask questions i know a lot of uh, a lot of students um don't aren't really comfortable with asking questions but that's what the resources are there for the textbooks uh the, the the teachers the other students that's those are all tools and resources that you have to use to get through this process and remember it's okay to mess up because it is school it, it, it's not a situation that should be stressful for you it should be a situation that j it challenges you because anything that's a challenge is you know is if you can get through it the outcome is going to be great so that, those are just a few things um myself i've been a licensed barber um this is my fifth year uh next year uh starting next year that'll be going into my sixth year so i've been doing this for for five years and what i what i've learned is that every day is still barber school it doesn't matter once you get that um, certificate of achievement as far as being accomplished all the way to this to, to you actually getting a barber license it doesn't matter once you start this journey it's a journey that you'll be on for the rest of your life and you'll learn that things that you learned at barber school whether it was a textbook whether it was a history of barber whether it was the financial part whether it was um you know all the way down to clipper over comb those are certain things that you'll take with you for the rest of your life regardless of what you do so just stay focused make sure you have a plan and always remember to ask questions use every available resource to you 
and that that that's those are are, are tools that you can use to have a smooth and successful ride through barber school and tr transition into actually being a licensed professional so remember guys to like share subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications i'll get back with you guys soon peace